Abram and Melchizedek, two men who understood each other. Lot and his family had gotten into bad trouble when they moved away from Abram. They had put their tents near the very sinful, wicked people of Sodom. Then Sodom's king went to war with some other bad kings, and the other bad kings won the fight. They took the people of Sodom, including Lot and all his family and all his stuff. But Abram wasn't going to let that happen to Lot. So he went and fought the bad kings and got back Lot and his family and all his stuff. While Abram was saving Lot from the other bad kings, he ended up saving the people of Sodom at the same time. So the king of the sinful, wicked people in Sodom wanted to meet Abram. The king of Sodom went out to meet Abram. But the bad king of Sodom wasn't the only king Abram met that day. Abram also met a special king named Melchizedek, king of Salem, which means king of righteousness, king of peace. Melchizedek brought Abram some bread and juice. Melchizedek was the priest of the Most High God. He blessed Abram, saying, May the Most High God, the creator of heaven and earth, bless you, Abram. Worthy of praise is the Most High God, who allowed you to win over your enemies. Abram smiled, smiled, smiled. Melchizedek was right. Abram hadn't won the fight against the bad kings because he was such a good fighter. No, it was God who won the fight for Abram. Somehow Melchizedek had known that. Abram smiled because now he knew that Melchizedek must be God's friend too. And if two people are both friends of God, that makes them friends of each other. Abram knew Melchizedek was a very, very special person, so he gave him a gift. Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of everything he owned. Do you know what a tenth means? It means if Abram had a hundred pieces of gold, he gave ten of them to Melchizedek. And if Abram had a thousand sheep, he gave a hundred of them to Melchizedek. <coughs> Abram owned a lot. So he gave a big, big, big gift. After that, the bad king of Sodom said to Abram, Just give me the people of Sodom back, but you can take all the stuff and treasures for yourself. But Abram replied to the king of Sodom, I promise the Lord, the Most High God, creator of heaven and earth. He turned and gave a knowing nod at Melchizedek, that I am not taking anything from you, not even a thread or a shoestring. It is God who has blessed me with everything I have. I don't want people to think that the king of Sodom made me rich. Then Abram walked away. Abram knew that all of his victories and every other good thing in his life came from God. And Abram wanted to make sure that the whole world knew it too.